today in bio class chapter 2 class 4 we are going to learn about that frederick taylor he has given the various techniques the principles of scientific management techniques so he recommended that if you want the proper uh, utilization of your resources you have to be technical we have understood yesterday class the principles of management now today scientific management principles they have recommended few techniques so these techniques of management number 1 time study you remember yesterday we have said that time study and motion study and all the evaluation to be done so in that once again let us re recapitulate what the time study means time study says that study of time time is very important factor how much time you require to finish the work in normal circumstances the management has to has a standard time decision so that they can compare that how much employee is taking time and what is the prescribed time required to complete that task so management has to first study and find out how much time is required so that calculation what management does known as a standard time one cannot take more time than the standard time so here as you have the standard time for your examination 3 hours it means that you have to complete your paper in that standard time of 3 hours so every individual must know how much time can be consumed secondly he emphasize again on motion study motion means movement movement of two things one is of a raw material and the material as well as the second main important factor is the human the movement is to be noticed and how much again time you can allow for such type of movement so here the method of removing what you have to do you have to remove the unnecessary movement so movement of that removing wastage of resources due to unnecessary and unproductive movements here in the organization you see that because the goods raw material has not arrived the labor is sitting and chatting and they are wasting their time sometime before recess after recess labor unnecessary take undue advantage of that break and they unnecessary waste more time so these are the normal human tendency to waste their time so such wastages are need to be controlled and are need to be checked out so that is what expressed in that motion study the third important he say that there should be a differential wage rate study you have to identify and you have to discriminate between efficient and inefficient employees now those who are efficient workers you have to recognize them you have to scrutinize them and you have to give them wages according to the work they are giving output what they are giving to the institution accordingly institution also has to give sufficient money to those efficient worker otherwise what will happen they will leave the job and your <coughs> that labor turnover ratio will increase so efficient worker should be treated properly and the workers have in less efficiency we can't say that they are of no use they are working but they are not as capable as the efficient worker so inefficient worker should get at least lower they should not be at par at least the little lower wages to be given in terms of money see money is the only factor for which the labor is working so that money discrimination has to be there between the efficient and inefficient worker 
there should be a motivational wage method there are number of wage method wage systems are there okay time wage system is there piece wage system is there so what they say that whichever method of wage system you adopt it should be motivational so that according to frederick taylor he say there should be 30 to 100 percent variation in the wages you remember on the very first day is the theory and psychology in that he added that 30 to 100 percent wages has to be given then only the inefficient worker and efficient worker discrimination possible and if you do this then only the good workers are ready to sustain in your organization so in this manner the frederick taylor he has contributed a lot in terms of scientific management and his contribution was well accepted by the industrialists now this was the one aspect of our chapter now the second we are going to move towards the another writer he has also contributed a lot for the management theory that is known as principle of management by henry fayol he has contributed mainly in the means after the scientific management and observing the few points regarding the limitations of scientific management he has added more he said that whatever management activities are there this activity should be first of all classified into six particular aspects and you have to study first what the management is now the two things you have to remember very well for your one liner or a mcq the two lines you have to remember that henry fayol he was a french engineer okay he was a french engineer and industrialist see the tailor he was a worker from the worker stage gradually he become the manager and the uh, at a higher post he reached while basically the henry fayol industrialist so his approach more towards the from the beginning towards the management and the authority and the you can say that employers point of view he think more clear and accordingly his theory he has stated second that the principles are presented in his book you need to remember his book that is the industrial and general management produced published in 1961 so these are the few things for the mcq normally they do ask you need to remember now the second that is the administrative principles of an industrial unit he has classified into six sometimes they do ask as a one liner question that state the six administrative uh, classes that were recommended by henry fayol he divided the whole industrial activity into six group the group number 1 that is technical activities he said that in an industry the technical activity work is the most important number 1 in which you include that is factory uh, machineries and the mechanism that to be consider and the production that what you do that is a plant and machinery and its maintenance and administration and the factory site requirement are necessarily be considered by the management second he talked about the commercial activity the other activity most important are that commercial means related to trade related to purchase and sales and related to exchange so commercial activity second he classified in purchase sales and exchange the third the most important again finance without a finance no industry can work so he classified the financial activity in the following points number 1 procurement of capital from market you need money you have to approach the market so how you are going to procure procure means to get the finance you may go for ownership capital you may go for borrowed capital in the ownership capital you have an option 
whether to go for equity share or to preference share in the borrowed capital whether you go for the debentures or from financial institution loan to be taken so bonds to be issued in this manner how you are going to procure the capital and cost of raising finance is again to be considered at time of selection of procurement of capital how much that capital become expensive to you second is that is the use of capital you have collected finance now how best you are going to utilize so that use of capital to be done the third the fund maintenance whatever fund you have you have to keep the minimum reserve you have to keep the liquid capital you have to have the working capital you are in need of a fixed capital and like this the fund maintenance switch from one fund to another and how that finance should be there in your hand so that there won't arise any crisis of liquidity in the business next phase that is reinvestment whatever profit earned by the company the part of profit they keep as a plowing back of profit reinvestment is required for maximization of wealth if you remember in class 11 we have learned the objective of wealth maximization so reinvestment which help the company at time of crisis at time of a lockdown for 3 month company has to survive you have to pay salary to your employees you have to maintain your plant and machinery and you have to remain active so at that time such reinvestment and funds if you have kept aside that can survive the company so this aspect to be kept number 4 he say that safety activity is again to be considered safety of employees employees are to be treated as an asset of the business employees are to be well taken care of all that environmental activities and the health and hygiene and safety clear as in that covid 19 that you have to provide them safety equipment you have to provide them sanitizers you have to sanitize your building you have to take care of your employees so that safety of employees to be taken care of because you are liable to pay and you are liable when an un unexpected contingent liability arise company will uh, face more expense rather than spending money for the safety so keep this in mind second safety of asset proper insurance to be taken proper care to be taken of an asset asset should not be stolen away or asset should not be damaged by so many things third is that goods whatever goods you are producing till the goods are sold into the market you have to preserve so that where housing logistic department is to be taken care of and next is raw material the material is still in the raw form it may be in the work in progress it may be in the plants and machinery it is not yet utilized for the production so that also to be taken care of so all these safety aspects management has to keep in mind the next number 5 he classified in a management one of the important aspect is accounting activity the financial statement all the commerce student what they learn how to prepare final account how to find gross profit net profit and how to know the financial stability of business so what you all are learning that comes here in that accounting activity the financial statement to be prepared to be presented and to be given to all our those who are interested in management research second statistical analysis comparison with present and past comparison and finding the trend whether business is in the rising trend or business is in a downfall so all the statistics one of the subject you learn that analysis to be done of the figures which are derived by accounting and those figures must guide the management how to go deal with the future problems the last that the activity divided into the managerial activity 
in our chapter 1 we have already understood the meaning of all this that you have to plan your activity you have to organize the structure of your business you have to do the direction guide the employees guidance to be given by management to the workers you have to coordinate various departments are there there must be a coordination there must be a, a, a harmony there must be a good healthy relationship and the control apart from all this if the control is not there then all management activities are may turn into loss so proper vigilance department proper controlling tool and proper controlling system has to be adopted so in this manner the henry fayol he has classified the all total management industrial activity into six group this question may be asked in the static form for your two marks in a c section so sometime they do ask you remember the classification now today your homework is that only one question explain the techniques of principle of scientific management that what three techniques are mentioned those <coughs> techniques to be explained for two marks for your reference of the textbook page number 23 you can revise and you come to know in detail still for the information